Quotas on instrument design to help overcome structural inequalities, for instance, in workplaces. This issue clearly extends beyond gender quotas in hiring practices. In the last couple of years, discussions in the German film and media industries have become more complex, thankfully, now trying to tackle not only gender equity, but diversity in its intersectional meaning. That is, equity and equal access is not only relevant in terms of gender, but also um, for other identity categories such as sexuality, race or ethnicity or the so-called Migrationshintergrund, disability and especially in their intersections. The Queer Media Society has done a lot of work raising awareness on sexuality and sexual identities. The most prominent campaign being ACT OUT, um, a mass outing of 185 LGBTQI actors in film, television and theater last month. Various industry groups such as Label Noir, Tyron Ricketts with his company Pentertainment, Berlin Asian Film Network and other individuals are working to raise awareness on underrepresentation and stereotyping of um, people of color or mentioned with Migrationshintergrund in the German industry. Several institutions try to encourage to rethink bias structures in the industry and One is the diversity checklist by the um, Filmförderung Hamburg-Schleswig-Holstein, which is very similar to the BFI diversity standards, which asks producers who apply for public funding to answer several questions about the diversity of their cast, crew and stories. This was met by much grumbling and a cry for freedom of expression and freedom of the arts. What most authors who complained about this um, don't want to understand is that no one wants to, and indeed no one does, discriminate against them or tells them what to write, much less is anyone telling them to tick all the boxes. What the diversity standards argue for is a equal representation of all members of our society. For this, they cite statistic, uh, which they would like to see represented also in the workforce and on screen within the stories told. So for instance, roughly 50-50 um, equality between men and women um, on top of non-binary people, intersex trans people, um, roughly 10% of LGBTIQ identified people or roughly a quarter of um, people who have a so-called Migrationshintergrund or um, are people of color. So essentially here a quota or rather a target uh, aims at two types of representation. First, for people who gain access to a certain industry working there ideally in all positions and on all hierarchy levels, i.e. also in decision-making positions and not only at entry level. And second, representation on screen. So who is seen there and in what kind of stories? Another important issue here is that this is not thought as essentializing. So while trans actors might be in a better position to play a trans character because they can and bring in more personal background knowledge and thus add depth to the performance more easily, they are not only suitable for trans characters, for instance, but also any other role. Similarly, POC filmmakers, um, because of their lived experiences, might be in a better position to produce stories that deal with issues of racism, yet they are by no means only capable or interested in telling single issue films. So, which is one of the main issues in German public television, to be true, and the idea that audiences can only deal with one issue at a time, right? Be it coming out or a strong woman plot or a post-migrant experience, but not all at one at the same time. So that's another issue what we try to tackle. So in brief, I don't think quotas are the ideal instrument, but if they are there, um, to accelerate the process to make the industry reconsider the bias and discriminatory structures that they are running, then they are a good tool to start that change process. 
so that then more women, queers, trans people, people of color, so that so-called minorities get to tell more stories and show the diversity of the German film culture that we actually live in.